Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the questions about the reinforced concrete, and the question will be a reinforced concrete beam. Uh, and now, uh, let's solve the question. We are going to analyze the question. The first, we are going to determine the neutral axis, and then we are going to uh, the specify the ultimate strength of the moment capacity of the reinforced concrete section. The third one is going to be determined the moment capacity is sufficient or not for this design. Sorry, uh, for this uh, design. Now you can see here, okay, for this design. So uh, let's solve the question. The first, I'm going to use the equilibrium. Now it's written here also for us to be a guide. And uh, I'm going write to write an equilibrium here. You know that we just have a, a, it is singly reinforced, so we just have a TS as tension still here, and we have a compression concrete at this direction. So we just have two forces, okay? So CC equal to TS, okay? 0.85. This is C. Now I'm writing CC uh, compression concrete. 0.85 multiplied with FCD. What is FCD? 16.7. Now you can see here. And I'm going to write it here as 365, not uh, with point. Okay. Multiplied with BW. What is BW? 300. And uh, the 300 here multiplied with A. What is A? We don't know. We are just going to find it. From A, we are going to obtain C equal to tension uh, steel force what is that it is as what is as 1200 millimeters square multiplied with what 365 as the yield of uh, our uh, steel okay so this is this from this equation i'm going to obtain a as equal to 100 2.8 this is going to be a but you know that also a is equal to k1 multiplied c k1 is 0.85 and this comes from table 2.1 from the book if it is 102.8 equal to 0.85 multiplied with c so C will be equal to 121 millimeter. And this is also the unit is millimeter. Now we obtain the neutral axis. It was written as uh, determined the neutral axis. Now it is okay, okay? So let's uh, solve the second part. For the second part, this was the first. And let's write here the second part. Second part that we are going to determine the moment. Uh, the moment can be carried by this uh, cross section, by this cross section. Okay, so now uh, we are going to use uh, this shape here. I'm gonna write. It, I'm gonna uh, draw it. For example, this is our shape. It doesn't matter how it is drawn. This is tension steel, and we have a concrete block as here effect of concrete block here this is a and this is compression concrete and now we are going to uh, take the moment uh, from the point of compression concrete uh, up until uh, sorry up to the tension steel point okay so it's going to be something like this the moment sorry we can write as mr for MR is equal to CC multiplied D prime, sorry, D, sorry, D minus A over 2. Okay. So let's resolve this equation. What is CC? Open 85 multiplied. Uh, one second, I'm going to explain this one. Look at here. This is from that point, from this top point until the uh, tension steel. Sorry. Until tension C, this is D, right? This length is D. 
and this one the the point of the compression concrete force it is the the midpoint of the concrete block okay so it's going to be a over two we are going to take the half of this because half of this is going to be stayed in this part so we don't care this part okay so it's going to be d minus over a over two let's continue this is going to be 0.85 multiplied what is that fcd the design strength of concrete is 16.7 multiplied bw is 300 multiplied with a 102 multiplied uh, 0 0.8 multiplied d minus a over 2 what is d let's look what is d this 550 okay 550 this is now you can see this is d minus uh, 102.8 over 2 is equal to 218.3 kilonewton meter as a moment. Now we find the MR. It's uh, asked us to determine the moment capacity of this cross section. Now it is. We find it. So let's find the third part. For the third part, you can see the uh, the simply support the system is given so we are going to first find the load the design load what's going to be design load let's write it down i'm going to take write this shape here sorry draw this shape here so it's going to be something like that it's just a free body and i have a load as uh, that load equal to 10 kilo if 10 meter and live load is equal to 5 kilo newton meter also so uh, the design load q will be equal to 1.4 there's coefficients that this coefficients that we use to stay at the safe side so we are going to multiply it with 10 plus 1.6 multiply with 5 and this will be equal to 22 kilo newton meter as design load okay so now this design load here as a distributed load as 22 kilo newton meter okay so and this length is 10 meter and now let's find this moment this the the force that will uh, create the moment so this is going to be, for example, MD. It's going to be QL square over 8. And what is Q? Q is here, 22 kN meter. You can see now we calculated before. Multiply 10 square over 8. And this will be equal to 275 kN meter. Now, sorry, it's going to be this. Yeah, because the moment is multiplied, it is not uh, divided. Yeah. Now this is the moment. The, uh, the, this force will uh, create at this amount of moment. So now we are going to make a compare that the moment can be carried by our cross section can uh, stand against this force or not. So now MR is equal to 218.3 and uh, it is smaller than the moment D, the design moment, okay? And this is 275. Uh, sorry, this is kilo newton meter. And this is kilo newton meter, okay? So now, if it is like that, the moment can be carried by your cross-section if it is smaller than the force acted, the force created moment, so your design, design is not okay. And now the third part also solved. The question is finished. Uh, if you like these videos, if you want to see more of the videos, please subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you for watching me. See you for the next question.